what is going on everybody? Today is a fantastic day for Pokemon Go because we finally, finally got GoFest news. We got the locations and the dates for the in-person events and we also got the dates for the global. So I am excited as heck because some of the locations are ones I've wanted to go to for a long time. And not only are these events announced, but you can buy your tickets for these events today if you go into your Pokemon Go app. Buying these tickets sooner rather than later is beneficial, not just because these tickets could sell out, we saw that happen with the Pokemon Hoenn Tour, but Pokemon Go is adding a special early bird discount if you purchase your tickets before a certain date, which you have a lot of time. It's until June, I believe, and so we're just now getting into May, so like a month. So first and foremost, if you are unable to attend any of the in-person Go Fests, don't fret because there is going to be another Another global one at the end of the year and you can buy yours right now if you go into the shop it is available right there I'm sure you guys have probably seen that if you're trying to buy some other things like lucky eggs or incubators but right there Pokemon Go Fest 2023 global ticket and it is going to be taking place on August 26th and 27th of this year so get those now I don't think these sell out but go ahead and get yours you can purchase a ticket for yourself or gift a ticket to one of your friends and I have been gifted a ticket Thank you, Mega Vetrix. I saw that as soon as I loaded up the game. It said, here's your Global Go Fest, so thank you for that, dude, you legend. More details for this can be found in the in-game news. Okay, we will check that out, but let's go ahead and look at the in-person Go Fest. So in order to purchase those tickets, just click the Pokeball little icon there in the center. At the top right, it says events. Click that, and you'll be able to see all the Go Fest that have been announced. We've got Pokemon Go Fest Osaka, Japan. From August 4th until the 6th, and I am so excited about this because I have not been to Japan in the longest time. The last time was August of 2019 for that Go Fest. And then the world fell into darkness with the pandemic, and we haven't been able to go back since. So I'm super excited that this is happening at the beginning of August because not only that, there will be Pokemon Worlds happening in August, I believe on the 13th to 14th. So I am 100% going to this Go Fest in Osaka and to Pokemon Worlds. So let me know in the comments if you're gonna be there or if you can make it, because it would be awesome to see you guys. However, there is a downside. Ever since 2019, there's been three Go Fests. There's been one for the United States, there's been one for Europe, and there's been one for Japan. These have all always been on separate dates and I've been able to attend every single one of them when I can. So it's great news for all my UK peeps because the Go Fest that was announced for Europe this year is taking place in London, which is awesome because that's where we had Pokemon Worlds last year. The bummer is, that it's going to be taking place on August 4th to the 6th. The same exact dates as Osaka, Japan. So I can't be in two places at once. I'm, I'm, I'm looking into cloning, hasn't been able to work out so far, can't make it at both places. So even though it's fortunate for my wallet, it is unfortunate because I will not be able to make it to the London Go Fest this year. So I'm sorry, UK peeps, I won't be able to see you guys, but I am excited that you guys get that London. That's pretty cool. And last but not least, the United States Go Fest location and dates have been announced. And this one I am so pumped for because I've been telling my Twitch chat for the longest time, at least a year plus, that I've been just wanting to go to this city for so long. I wanted to go for New Year's. I have wanted to just visit. It's been a long time since I've been. And now I have all the more reason to go because this year's Go Fest in the United States is taking place in none other than New York City, baby. Oh, I can't wait. I've been wanting to go to New York so bad. It's been forever since I've been. And here we go. All the more reason to go. We've got a Go Fest in New York City. That's crazy. One of my favorite cities of all time. I feel like I've manifested this with the amount of times I've talked about wanting to go or even potentially moving there. The fact that Go Fest is in New York is so exciting for me and it is all going down on August 18th to the 20th. So you, as you see from this screen, it all says tickets are available. You click on the tickets are available section here. It tells you all about the event and says uh, that the, the special early bird ticket pricing is available now until June 15th. So if you get it now, like I said, you've got like over a month, but you know, like a month basically. If you purchase it before June 15th, you get $5 off your ticket. Okay. So no rush uh, <laughs> unless they're uh, selling out fast. So the cool thing about this Go Fest is that they're doing the same thing that they did for last year's Seattle, where they're doing half of it in the park and then half of it out in the city. You can just go explore the city and get all the Go Fest spawns and shiny rates to your heart's desire. But not only that, it would appear that you can add on the city experience for extra days. So you can't play in Randall's Park every day, but you can add the city experience. So let's take a look at the add-ons just to make sure I'm, you know, not uh, making things up here. So yes, you can see here, citywide gameplay for $20. So $20 a day extra, 
you can play the other two days in the city. So the whole thing, 18th through the 20th. I'm not sure if these additional citywide experiences will have the same shiny rates as an in-park experience. That I don't know. I feel like with their track record, something could be weird. But it is exciting to still be able to experience GoFest spawns and GoFest activities throughout the entire city for the weekend. So I will be tacking those on. And on top of tacking those on, you can also tack on uh, the egg enthusiasts like past events where you have to spend another $15 for one fourth hatch distance, but you also get three times hatch XP, candy, and stardust. That, to me, depending on what's in the eggs, because it says you get 10K eggs as well, more frequently for spinning stops. If it's anything like the regionals from last year, I'm gonna have to get this, because it's totally, I mean, it's, it's worth it for the bonuses. I don't know if it's worth it for the price, but the bonuses, I can't not have those. So I gotta tack that on too. And then there's the Raid Lover add-on, which is $15, which means you get up to 18 free Raid Passes per day. So basically it's like buying 15 Raid Passes with an additional plus three. 5,000 additional XP rewarded, six candy for catching Pokemon and five star raids, three additional XLs for catching Pokemon and five star raids, which could be interesting depending on whatever Pokemon will be popping up in these raids. And then the bonuses will be active throughout New York. I don't know if I'm going to purchase the Raid Lover one yet because I'm not much of a Raid Lover myself, but I'm definitely getting those other ones. So let me know in the comments if you guys are going to be attending any of the Go Fests, and let me know if you're going to be attending any of the ones that I'm going to because I'd be excited to see you guys there. Do not hesitate to come say hi to me when you're out there. You will not be bothering me at all. That is why I want to go to these things. You guys are the reason I'm able to do any of this, and I want to freaking say hi and thank you so much, so don't, don't worry. So I'm going to be in Japan from August 1st until I believe August 15th, because I think World's on the 13th and the 14th. And I'm flying from there to New York. So it's gonna be one jam-packed August. I don't know why we don't have anything in July, you know, to make things a little easier, but it's gonna be fun. Every single GoFest that I've been lucky enough to attend has been a lot of fun, and it also has provided a brand new mythical Pokemon into the game. And from the looks of it, it seems like this year is going to be no different. As you can see from last year's Pokemon Go Fest emblem, you can see these little pink flowery things sprouting out the side of the logo there. And that logo is hinting at those pink little flowers for this wonderful mythical Pokemon known as Shaman. There he is in the back walking on up. Look at that with those flowers on each side. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, we can catch it right here in the field of dreams. Wow. This is the closest thing I can get to looking like the uh, wonderful field in this game here. Let's throw a ball here. One. Okay, okay, it's not gonna go down easy. All right, let's throw another one. <laughs> okay, you know what they say, third time's the charm. Let's see if we can get an excellent. <laughs> no, we didn't even get anything. One, two, three, there we go. This is our bonus shaman from the uh, in-person free event, the free mythical. Got some nice little omegas. Did we end up getting good IVs on you? Oh, no we did not. We don't ever seem to get those on the mythicals. But my point of showing that beautiful disappointment was that Pokemon Go hinted at what mythical we would be seeing at GoFest. And I think this year is no different because this is the logo for Pokemon Go Fest 2023. And if you can see to the left and the right of the fest, there is little pink diamonds there. Diamonds are forever. They're gorgeous. And these little pink ones here are very telling for the next mythical that we're going to be getting in Pokemon Go Fest 2023. And that Pokemon, ladies and gentlemen, is none other than Diancie, the mythical diamond Pokemon that was introduced in Generation 6. And while Generation 6, the Kalos region, was not a generation that I played on the main series growing up, this Pokemon is absolutely one of my favorites from that generation. Because I don't know if you guys know what my favorite Pokemon of all time is, but it is Shiny Lunatone a rock moon with like gemstone eyes embedded in it. And as you can see here, this Pokemon is made of rock and covered in gemstones, gorgeous diamond gemstones. And this Pokemon is a rock and fairy type. I thought I just stepped in something that was going to be unsatisfactory. But we're okay, it's just, it's just asphalt rocks. They kind of look like Diancie a little bit. Did I just step in Diancie? No. No, we're good. Okay, we're good. We're fine. But I love rock type Pokemon, as you know from Lunatone, and this thing being a rock and fairy typing, I think could be a beast in Pokemon Go, in Pokemon Go Battle League and other aspects of the game. So I don't know how it will perform, but I know Lunatone's rock abilities do a lot of damage in some uh, Pokemon Go uh, GBL cups. But I am very, very excited for this mythical. So I think with that GoFest logo, I think this guy's pretty much guaranteed, so 
I'm excited. So with that said, I don't think there's any details I've missed on Pokemon Go Fest, but if there is, let me know in the comments and I will address them uh, in the next video for sure. So if you're new here, make sure you subscribe so you can see me correct all my faults. All right, y'all, that is going to do it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm so hyped right now. If you're new here, don't forget to hit subscribe because we're going to be covering all the Goat Fest adventures daily, baby. And you're not going to want to miss it. Take care, be safe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later, y'all.